All right. Today is the 11th of March. And look at this beauty. Two boxes of bees. And this box still got some weight to it. Oh, this is going to be a good year. Okay, so <clears throat> this colony, for some reason, is just a tiny pinch of bees there. Not even a frame, maybe like a quarter frame. So I did find the queen on the bottom board. And she does look pretty healthy. Uh, I think they just dwindled down. They can't support any brood. So I have a... <clears throat> colony that's really big that guess what is queenless and uh, how I found this was when I started taking some of those middle frames out there was a uh, look like a swarm swarm cell or supersedure cell um, I believe supersedure cell and because there's just it's March 11th or something it's too early for swarms here and uh, we didn't see any swarms and so my guess is the queen stopped laying they super we're going to supersede her so i'm going to see how this goes so i'm going to put her in here and see how they react to her hopefully they accept her and don't try to sting. She's in there with her nice little thorax. She's unmarked. I think she was marked last year, but. Oh, they're starting to come to her now. I don't see any crazy behavior. I don't see any abdomens folded over with stingers out trying to stain, so that's a plus. Oh, look at that. She's fanning, nasing off. That is a good sign, I hope. I actually just put a frame of eggs uh, in there from another colony just to have them draw their own but I found this one that was basically on the verge of dying because they just didn't have any uh, any numbers they just dwindled down but this colony is like two boxes of bees they were just queenless and that queen cell was was right between the two frames or right between the two boxes attached to two frames so when I opened it up it just ripped it apart that was the only cell in there look at this this is so awesome. I think they've been queenless for several days. There's zero eggs. There is some, uh, other than the frame that I put in there, there is some hatching brood, but there's like half a frame, if that, left of emerging brood. I don't see any aggressive behavior. I'm going to give this a minute. I don't want to release her too soon because I think she's still a good queen. At least uh, enough to get me through a few days here because it's only not even mid-March yet and just a little too early. Although we have quite a bit of drones. So I saw a lot of drones. So we could probably get away with doing splits now, but... The weather could be so unpredictable. I want to wait till at least another two, three weeks to the end of the month. That box there is two boxes of bees. It is packed. I might actually throw that box on there. Just a box of, uh, that came off of that colony there, which was pretty small. There, I found their queen in there, but there was not really many eggs. And so I'm not sure what they're doing. If uh, they don't like her or she's just not laying, she's a dud. Uh, I believe there was a supersedure cell or a, something in there. Um, but uh, they were just basically a box, half a box. So I took their upper box away and 
I think what I might do is just go put it on there because that is just absolutely jam-packed full of bees and that's a lot of dr uh, drawn comb there that This is just a queen excluder cage, and so they can get in and out of there. I just want to make sure they're not... ...balling her up or anything. Where are you? There you are. This is right, right there. You can see her abdomen there. And they are not attacking her. In fact, she looks like she's doing really well with all of them in there. I think I'm going to direct release her. I can't believe I found her on the bottom board. I was going to just combine that nuke right next to him. And it's like, well... I'm going to look, and sure enough, she's there. She's tiny. She hasn't started laying yet for the year. If she did, they cannibalized. I think I'm going to just open it up. Yeah, she's there. Oh, that one... is trying to sting her. Okay, well, I think I may... Okay, I think what I'll do is just put her in a uh, cage they can't get to her. Just, I don't want to risk her. Sorry about that. I had to take her out and then get all the bees off of her. So I'm going to put you on pause. Be right back. All right. So here she is. And I have this cage I've had for a while. Hi, Bean. Good boy. And I'm going to take my glove off here. So have some little open this cage and it does have some candy in it you can see a little bit of candy plug there it's really hard so it's going to take them at least a day to get through all right all right so you can see she's there in the cage. Hopefully she wasn't harmed. And I'm gonna come back to that colony there. Put her on top and see what they do. <clears throat> now they can't get to her in this cage. And she's in there by herself so Glove back on. I'm going to put this colony in this box in a minute. I'll 
do. I'm just gonna leave her right there, I think. We're gonna come up and hopefully protect her anyways. What I'll do is put a little bit of this sugar right there. I'm gonna put just the inner cover lid on here. I don't know what happened to this queen in here, but oh well. <clears throat> Okay, so these 10 frames are going to go into here. Maybe I'll just grab another box. This actually needs, this is packed, needs more room. So I think I'm going to put this on top. We'll go grab another box. This is going to add another fiber to that, but. And we'll be right back. Alright, now all these got about a pound of rocket fuel in it. Um, pound of pollen patties with rocket fuel, so they are still working on theirs. That's looking pretty good. I don't see the queen. Shake that off. That was on three weeks ago. Still very soft, moist. All right, we put you on pause and figure this out. All right, this colony here on the top, I, I'm not sure if you can hear it. They're all fanning, roaring. Was a roar mean. It means there's no queen. There's two super cedar cells there. And there's one on that black frame there. So I'm gonna check the bottom just to see what's going on there, see if there's any eggs, but there's no eggs to speak of up here. least they are taking care of themselves so that's good all right let's take that frame or that box off Get a nice couple frames of bees there pretty full all right americans bee here again we have that colony which there was a new double uh two five frame nuke boxes they were full so they're on the bottom in that uh, number three box and then uh, the box that was there went on top and it had about half frame of bees that nuke there ended up <clears throat> having three super cedar cells no queen no eggs a uh, little bit of cat brood and so i'm gonna just check on them at the end of the month and they should have Made queen that box over here. Excuse the gnome, she's just playing guitar. That box there, uh, I added that second deep to it, removed one of the supers. I'm gonna leave it to get robbed out because uh, it just had a couple frames of honey in it. The other one had brood in it, so I left that. Uh, I'll probably take it off once the brood gets uh, hatched out because they don't, they don't need it right now. And then uh, probably about four, five frames of decent honey stored in the upper box and then otherwise empty drawn comb. Uh, all right, so yeah, this one, double deep with the a super. It's got a little bit of brood frame, so I'm going to leave that there till they're gone. 
They're doing good. They're doing good. Good queen. She's laying. They got some room to go still. So, no messing with them. Same with these two nukes. They got, they're doing good. They got some room. Again, this one has that queen, but there's no brood per se. Uh, I'm not sure what the heck's going on there. I'm going to check back next week, and if there's nothing there, I'm going to give them a frame of eggs. And I'm really half tempted to give them one of those queen cells over there, but I'm not. If anything, I will take a frame of brood from that colony over there or that strong one over there that I combined. Uh, these girls have that queen in that cage in there and uh, also a frame of eggs so I'll probably release her tomorrow and just let whatever happen happen this one got the third box that I removed from that other Hoover box and uh, it's about half and half, half honey, half empty comb. Uh, honey on the outside, of course, comb on the inside. And so that should give them plenty of room to expand. Um, there's a little bit of brood in that middle box there, so I didn't want to separate those, otherwise I would have put that um, empty comb down there. And that's it. Check back next weekend. Take care.